In today's video, I'm going to give you everything you need to start using ZK Sync Era. Now, some of you may be familiar with ZK Sync because you want a ZK Sync airdrop. That isn't exactly what this video is about, although if you do the things in this video, you would likely have a good chance of qualifying for an airdrop. The first thing that you need to do is add ZK Sync to your MetaMask wallet. And the best place I find to add any network to your MetaMask wallet, this makes it really just the matter of clicking a few buttons, is chainlist.org. And you just go up here to the search bar and you can type in ZK Sync like so, and then click on add to MetaMask. And once your MetaMask is connected to the wallet and you click add, it will literally add it to your wallet that simply. The next thing you'll want to do is bridge funds from Ethereum over to ZK Sync era. And the thing with this is there are several bridges. However, although this video isn't about airdrops, I would say that using the ZK Sync native bridge is not a bad idea because oftentimes when chains give airdrops, they do give priority to people who use their native bridge. So I'm going to use the native ZK Sync era bridge and you can send ETH or any of these other assets right from the Ethereum mainnet over to ZK Sync. In this case, I'll send ETH over. So you type in the amount you want to send. I'll send 0.1. You click on deposit and then you'll be prompted to confirm the MetaMask transaction. Click on confirm. And it's as simple as that. It takes up to five minutes and then the funds appear over on the ZK Sync era mainnet. And like Ethereum, you will use that ETH to pay for transaction fees over on ZK Sync. And once our transaction has been confirmed, we are ready to start using some ZK Sync in DeFi. And if you just go to Sync Swap here, it's basically a Uniswap fork. You can swap between ETH, you can swap between USDC, you can swap between some token known as OT that I've never heard of, and then there are, I'm sure, some others as well that are non-major tokens that you can find. For example, ZK Doge, ZK Inu, I presume those are meme coins. And, and these ones are quite small, right? They have tiny liquidity. I'm not at all endorsing them. I'm just showing you what's available. And so if you want to use sync swap, then you can go here. And for example, some of that ETH that we brought over, we brought over 0.5, if you remember, maybe I want to trade some of that for USDC. And I'll be able to do that right on here. The next thing you can do is provide liquidity as you would with any other chain. So you can go here and for example, ETH USDC, you can provide them in a 50-50 ratio. If you've used DeFi in the past, this is nothing revolutionary, but you can provide liquidity in here and start earning some swap fees from people who are trading on, on this DEX. And now one interesting thing here is that because there's relatively low liquidity on this chain and a lot of people have been interested in, in bridging over to ZK Sync era, you can see that the volume is extremely high compared to the TVL. And because of this, it's currently running around a 70% APR. Going right down the list of DeFi projects on ZK Sync era, we can see that the next one is Mute.io with just over $9 million in TVL, technically $9.6 million. And I would argue that Mute has actually had more anticipation than SyncSwap, and that's possibly because it has its own token. So for many people, this was the largest or only ZK Sync related token they could invest in. Not suggesting you do, but that is why you may have heard of mute more than sync swap and if we go over to mute's website app.mute.io we can see here then that, that like the other website you can swap tokens here however they also have some nice pools and they have usdc wrapped eth running at around 67 percent and like i said before there is a mute token which you can pair with eth right now and earn around 46 percent However, these are not incentivized pools. These are just simply from trading fees of people who are using the platform. So these APYs should fluctuate significantly from day to day. And then continuing on, the third DEX that we'll look at is SpaceFi. And I want to give a caveat that I haven't fully looked into all of these DEXs. I'm just showing you what's available on the chain. And these are small and highly, highly risky. So don't put in any money that you're not willing to lose into any of these DEXs, even if you're just depositing it as liquidity. But if you're interested in swapping, for example, these should get the job done. And if we go to SpaceFi, then we can see here that you can swap a number of tokens. And unlike the other DEXs, and that's the reason I want to show you this, is they actually have active farms. They have a farm for ETH USDC incentivized, which currently has 165% APR. 
And then they have one for their space token in USDC at 1,254% APR. Obviously, that's extremely high inflation. So when you see that, you always got to be careful about buying this token. Next thing that you may want to do on ZK Sync, moving on from DeFi, is there is a ZK Sync name service, like Ethereum name services, but for ZK Sync. They're powered by Layer 0, and here you can actually purchase .zk domain names. Maybe you are all about ZK Sync and for your social media profiles or just for sending funds on chain, you want to secure that .zk domain name. And that's app.zkns.domains. And then the final thing that's really available to do on ZK Sync now, remember this chain did just launch one week ago, is there is an NFT marketplace known as Mint Square. If you go here, you can explore, sell, and collect NFTs. And there are already several ZK Sync collections on here. You can see a lot of them have a theme starting with ZK, ZK Alien, ZK Animals, ZK Ape. And personally, I'm not a huge NFT collector myself, but if you are, you can get a jump start on the NFT ecosystem of ZK Sync over here on mintsquare.io. And that's everything you need to start using ZK Sync era. And until next time,